Hey y'all, this is Jocasta Lester. In this video, I want to talk to you about how rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, okay? So I've watched this parasite recently, this, this whole infection. It's come into my nose and it's manifested itself as something that um, has laid this thing. And I'm going to tell you something that's pretty gross. It has come into my nose and I felt what has felt like a horrific crawling sensation in my nostrils. <laughs> Um, then I've blown out little specks of stuff, okay? <laughs> um, I've used the restroom and seen similar specks of stuff. So whatever this thing is, <laughs> it crawls in a person's face and lays eggs. <laughs> it crawls in your body and lays eggs in diverse places. <laughs> I took albendazole. I took the first dose already. <laughs> I'm getting ready to dose up on dose number two. <laughs> Number one, the Lord can heal you. Don't ever, um, try not to doubt the Lord's healing, but I know that it is tough in this day. This is why I want to explain to you what a rebel faction is. They exist. There is a group. They are your true brethren. Those are the ones that you're looking for, for real, as your true brethren. These false brethren, they try to stay in your face and in your way. Now, your false brethren, they are the ones that don't fit your personal spec, but they try to force you into these friendships that you don't want. <laughs> and they introduce calamity or there were calamities in your life that they found as the justification for why they get to pick on you. Okay. So these rebels, as you're walking about, as you're moving about trying to complete your Christian works and such, they rebel. They make it harder to do the things that you're supposed to do because they think they're right about what they're doing. So they rebel against your election as a Christian. That's the treachery of this group, okay? So that you're a Christian, you're born again if you're born again Christian, right? But they may not be born again or they use the ones that aren't born again as their little pawns. I mean, they're highly sophisticated, some but not quite. It's really just a simple, I don't like her type thing, okay? That's what's happened to me in my life. Now I'm left with the conundrum of finding my son who may or may not have been tormented and targeted evilly by my ex-husband okay but as this is going on as we're trying to resolve this issue they're running about it's your fault it's your fault and no one needs that <laughs> so right now i'm looking for my baby and i have a group of spiritual tyrants <laughs> that seem to be uh so preoccupied with telling the story of Babylon or of my son's life or taking his life and trying to make him I mean it's just it's really it's heinous okay it's ugly it's cruel it's hateful so that rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and it's like they do things to you that are the antithesis of Christianity okay it's like the antithesis Christians okay the, against the idea of Christianity in other words so that when you think about um a parasite that goes through your body. We're supposed to heal. The false brethren, they identify as Christians sometimes. And rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. It doesn't have to be witchcraft, but similarly, witches act upon people in a similar way where they bring sickness and all that stuff to your bodies. So that when this rebellion comes upon a Christian, it looks like witchcraft happening to you. It looks like those things that are um, disobeying God and coming up against you in Christianity, similarly to what witches do. So that you can understand the nature and kind of like the, the, the disdain of the rebellion by the power manifested in the rebellion. Okay, So that when the, when the rebellious rebels, in other words, like why can this happen to me as a born again Christian? It's an inside job. That's why. <laughs> so repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Have a blessed and marvelous day. It wouldn't be the regular devil. Similar to Judas, the one that creeps next to you and throws worms on you or the one that creeps next to you and takes you into custody and submits you over to, to the police to lay hold of you and to have you crucified. It isn't somebody that you wouldn't let close to you. It's someone that's close. Okay. So understand this and know this, that God is good. And there is an evil faction that's willing to train up your child in the way that he shouldn't go so that when he is old, he'll be condemned for it. Okay. That's that group. Um, that rebel faction is well versed in the Bible, but they have an identity with Satan. In other words, it's an image given to a person that's a Christian that aligns itself with Satan so that you still need to be careful about how you 
uh, approach it as it pertains to Christian to Christians. But there's like a familiar sound out there, a set of entities that's like the unclean essence of a person. It's like a person's unclean Christian way. In other words, it's like it sounds like this person that's a Christian out there, but it's unclean. So that when those things try to return to a house that they say that they come from, you're a Christian house, you're, you're the temple of the Holy Spirit, so that it boils down to this. When there is a rebellion by others who may or may not be Christians out there, and these unclean spirits sound very much like those people, okay? Just know that God is in control and know who you are in Christ. But I understand how it's difficult to know who you are in Christ with all this running up against your body. As long as you're a Christian, you're a Christian, okay? And rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, but the rebellion is against God. Because you're supposed to love God and love your neighbor. Know that. You're on your own in this rebellion. Repent for the king, repent, excuse me, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And just know that God is good. But you you could you could really border on being Judas. Okay. Do you want to be Judas? Do you? So have a blessed and marvelous day. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. If you were having trouble understanding why worms could attack a person, why a person could be called Babylon, Babylon and all that stuff. It's because there are sometimes people that are maligned as supposed allies that come up against the people that God selected. In other words, the rebellion of Korah of this day. So have a blessed and marvelous day and take care. And thank you for watching.